can't believe it's day seven of 30 faces and 30 days already. So I thought I would just show you where I'm up to at the moment. I've decided to stick all my paintings into a book as I go along so it'll keep them all together and I can see my progress over the, the month. Right, day one was this line and wash portrait and it was my first lesson teaching for Sketchy. So it was wonderful to see, I don't know, 50 of these faces all posted online and tagged and seeing how people just interpret the, the techniques that I'm sharing. Just for interest, I've repeated the painting, but used a different background colour for the, the toning of the paper. Here, I use quite a warm sort of tan peachy colour. And here, all the colours are the same in the actual painting, but I started with the blue. And I think it makes her look quite a lot older. Certainly it's cooler and it's a bit more solemn. And I used a little blue pastel pencil just on top. Uh, well, in fact, look, I've got some yellow pastel pencil as well, just to add a little difference to it. Day two was a lesson from Charlotte Hamilton. And it was this lovely muse. The main point of her lesson was about adding sort of patterned backgrounds and what a difference that can make to your portrait. I really like that. Some people said the pattern background was a bit distracting and they didn't like it, but, but I did. I painted this guy a little bit different from the style she painted in, but I was a good girl and did my pattern background. The next day was this lovely muse and it was a lesson from Dryton Duro, who's an artist I really admire. He gets an intensity of colour in watercolour that I still don't know how he does it. And um, no, I, I just, well, I certainly didn't use the same pigments as he did. And I didn't get that intensity. But I really tried to do a lot of the wet in wet work he did and to to really get quite a painterly effect and i i was quite pleased with that for for the learning of it the next day was quite funny it was a lovely artist uh, a lesson by a lovely artist called Kyle Legaspi who is from the Philippines and she'd chosen this muse with this very striking light here and a really interesting palette of um, yellows and purples. So I again was trying to be really good and follow her instruction and um, my poor model ended up looking like she'd had a really nasty accident and her eye had just disappeared totally. I actually went in afterwards and added more darks to get greater contrast and though it's not perfect um i hope it looks less like she's had an eye gouged out next day uh the artist is anna from brazil and i really i was right in my comfort zone here i love monochrome uh portraits so i used some japanese graphite paints that i was given about 18 months ago and i'd never touched and i really enjoyed letting them play on the the surface so that was great Day six was a lesson from uh, Lorraine Simmons, who is an artist from Canada. And she'd chosen this muse with a very pensive look. And I just found it plain depressing. <laughs> I found it really sad. Um, so I really struggled painting this one because, yeah, I just, just found the whole pose sad. And then today, day seven, is back to one of my lessons. I went for a really high contrast portrait because what I wanted to show people is that it's all about shapes and joining shapes. We're painting shadows rather than the light. And that out of this chaos of wet and wet watercolour, the face emerges. It's been great fun seeing lots of versions of this face on Instagram and Facebook. So though we're on day seven, it's not too late. If you want to join the 30 Faces in 30 Days Challenge, you can. And I'll put a link 
because you get lifetime access. So even if you've missed days one to seven, you can always catch them up later. It is, I think there's four or 500 people taking part. Let me just give you a sneak peek of some of the lessons to come. These are my lessons to come. I'm doing this monochrome with patterns. I'm not sure what day that's scheduled for yet. Doing another line wash of this lovely, lovely muse with her wonderful pink jumper. And then also doing this super bright rainbow man at one point. So those are three more lessons from me. But there are, well, if we're on day seven, that means there's 23 more lessons to go in total. And by the end, this book will be heaving with different portraits. So I say it's not too late to join if you want. And I'll give you a flick through at the end so you can see how how things have gone. <laughs>